Hi, my name is Scott West. I'm a Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Data. And today I'm coming to you with a special live edition of Talk Nerdy. We're here today at DattoCon in Paris, and we made a very significant announcement this morning on the main stage. It is probably the most significant integration between any Datto product since the merger of Autotask and Datto two years ago. And that's the integration of Datto Networking and Datto RMF. Today I'm joined by John Tipton, our VP of Product for Datto Networking. Scott. And also Matei Smith, our Director of Product Management for Data Arm. Okay, so let's talk about this integration and talk specifically about the problem we're trying to solve. Well, it starts with just understanding the feedback we've gotten from partners and thinking about why do we have so many requests for RMM and networking to integrate when there are great RMM platforms and great networking management choices independently but what's the partner request? And, and you have the same conversations with partners using RMM. It's not that you can't communicate with products, but there's, there's a struggle. All the time, yeah. A lot of the MSPs that we work with, they use a separate network management tool and a separate RMM. That effectively means that all their engineers need to live in two different tools. It just makes it harder when troubleshooting any problem. Um, and there's a reason for that. There is a reason why network management tools exist next to RMMs. And that's, it's really hard to set up proper network management in an RMM tool. And there are various reasons for that as well. Like we see that all the time. It starts with SNMP, which is an ancient protocol and it's it requires almost a rocket scientist to set it up. You have all these different MIPS and community strings and, and a lot of things that you need to know about before you can get that to work. And you need to do that for every single device. It's just a lot of work. Yeah, it's but, funny, right? SNMP, there's nothing simple about it. Um, but yeah. but that's the problem and, and you'd have to do all this manual setup. And then the individual management platforms like Network Manager are focused on managing the network. And so Network Manager or any other network management platform is showing you what's happening within the networking devices uh, versus an RMM platform that has a more holistic view, but doesn't necessarily get specific enough to meet the needs of an individual network management platform. And Related to this, when uh, you're in support, you're not, not necessarily working with the network management tools. That's frequently a different department. However, when you troubleshoot issues, the problem is often in the network. It's connectivity, it's, it's latency. There are things that you need to know about, or sometimes the solution is in that layer. By keeping it into two separate tools, you, you sort of make the work of the support engineer harder and they have to always talk to the networking group, which is also not ideal. And even when you do get SNMP set up, you're setting it up on a device by device basis. The protocol is different from product to product. It's different from vendor to vendor. And all of this communication takes place locally. So it's more communication on the network and you have to save it and store it somewhere on that local network to parse it and do something with it. It's a good point. Normally, people deploy a, a, a specific dedicated server for this. It's another box in the network that you need to manage, even if it's a small Raspberry Pi or a virtual machine, it is another thing to manage, another operating system to patch, uh, another thing that can go wrong. It's not ideal, especially now that we know computers moving to the cloud. So you really don't want to put servers in a network that only has access points and perhaps a switch and a few laptops. You really don't want to have a server there. You do want to look into the network. It's essential. So this is this is pretty compelling and interesting, and I understand the problem. Let's talk specifically about what we are delivering and announcing here. Yeah, I think that the general idea from partners is that they want a seamless experience between these products. Uh, the idea of setting them up independently, connecting products together and all the labor that takes place is just not ideal. And so we, we've we looked at this and looked at this feedback and we've come up with a pretty unique way to solve this problem. What we did is we effectively built a cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration between Datto Network and Datto RMM. It is as simple as setting up an API integration, so you copy-paste an API key in Datto RMM and you're set. Then every time a network device is deployed in the field, it gets added to RMM automatically. There's nothing you have to do, no device-based, SNMP-based configuration. The devices then show up as any other device in RMM, as a workstation, a server, or SNMP device. Uh, an engineer can work with them as any other device, but it's all done over the cloud. We then add 
uh, a lot of unique capabilities specifically for those devices. Because we know them intimately well, we can do actions, reboot, restart, uh, ports, um, depending on the device type. Uh, let's talk about what is unique in this integration, something that specifically you can't do with an SNMP type of integration. Okay, I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say you visit the switch in RMM. What we do is we actually show you a full readout of all the ports, and that's, that's not that special, but we also show you exactly what is connected. So we, we take everything from the network manager and we correlate that with information from RMM. So you then know immediately what agent, what device that we know of in RMM is connected to what switch port, and from there you can drill into that device directly. So creating a, like a network map instantly. And so to your point, once you're at a workstation, that might be the beginning of the workflow. So if you have an alert about a problem with a workstation, now you use the RMM platform to connect to that workstation. You can see its related devices as well, manage power or particular port on a switch. You can work your way to the switch inside the RMM, see that summary information. And then if you find that you need to make more detailed configuration changes, one click of that switch in RMM takes you through single sign-on right back to Network Manager. All of this happens seamlessly. So API integration sounds awesome, and it certainly sounds a lot more powerful than SNMP. But why, is, why isn't everybody else doing this? I mean, why are we not doing this with other vendors? Why is, this seems like something that everybody should do. Well, I'll tell you, because it's hard. It's really hard. It took a lot of effort on yeah. our engineering team and on the RMM side, as well as your, our, uh, your engineering team on the networking side to get this integration built. This is, uh, it requires very specific API calls and interactions to make it work sm smoothly and fast. Um, and also, uh, when I needed something, specific new API uh, uh, calls, I could just call, call John to make it happen, right? <laughs> okay. yeah. I don't have the, like, I, I can't do that with insert big vendor name over, the, over here. That's actually a good point because APIs are usually written by one party. And so it is a networking company that says, we've written APIs, this is my API. Here, RMM provider. And likewise, there's integrations into and out of RMM platforms that are published. You know, the point of all of these is to communicate with each other. But when you wanna make a really powerful integration like we announced, it takes collaboration. And what you came up with initially in the APIs might not be sufficient to do really unique things. And so that's where the collaboration comes in. And then it's unique because we own the RMM platform, we own the engineering team that writes that code, we produce our hardware, have our engineering team on the networking side, so we own this all the way through from one side to the next and can really make it a powerful integration. Good examples of this are, for example, SSO as well. It's, we deliberately chose to not copy all the management functionality in Network Manager. Manager. Network Manager is an awesome management tool creating a VLAN or making any changes in a switch. It's awesome, no need for us to do that. However, we wanted to make the experience for the technician seamless. So you don't want to log into a separate console, find a switch and make the change. You want to have it one button. Well, single sign-on is available for us because we are one data. We have these products integrated into one authentication layer. It's literally a single click right out of the RMM platform and you're in Network Manager on the device you were just looking at. It's, yep. it's amazing how quick and simple it is. Okay, so you've talked about switches, you've talked about access points. What about managed power? Uh, yeah, managed power devices are automatically synced as well. They're going to be available in RMM instantly. And what you can then do is uh, link an RMM device straight to the power device. So we then have established uh, a link between a power outlet and a critical device that you're monitoring. Down to the outlet. Down to the outlet. So uh, that enables some, some unique capabilities then with managed power as well. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this one specifically. So in the simplest way, ex uh, the simplest example I can give you, if you have a network printer, it's not, not responding anymore. Okay, yeah. you go to the device page in RMM. You see in the related devices section that it's powered by managed power device. You click on it and you instantly reboot it remotely without ever touching the printer in any other way, visiting the office, it's all within a few seconds. That's a big time saver. Right. And, we, and that's, that's one of the advantages of managed power. Now that's available through the RMM platform, which is, which is awesome. So think about how you had to address that problem before. You would still get the alert that the device was not responding in the RMM platform, 
but then you would have to hope your documentation there was accurate to recognize that it was connected to a managed power device. You would go to Network Manager, browse to the managed power device. Of course, your ports are labeled there, and once you're there, you're in good shape. But then you reset the particular outlet and you could solve the problem. Now with the integration, you never leave the RMM platform. You can see there that it's connected to a particular port and in the RMM platform, you can simply just click reset and reset the device. It's a really nice experience. You disable the port, the device goes offline in RMM because it is connected, right? You know that the agent is now offline. You, you flip it on again, the agent comes online. It's, it's just a seamless experience. There's no navigation required anymore. It's something support people would use. The other one, absolutely possible. There are some great examples with managed power, but I think this integration actually changes it. It makes it so that a lot of support people will actually use it. And I expect a lot of MSPs will start using managed power for their more critical devices. It now makes sense because it's a low cost solution to deploy it like to critical devices everywhere, saving truck rolls across the board. Yeah. And take this even further. If you think about the value proposition around why we launched managed power, it's that many devices can't be controlled remotely. You can't put an RMM agent on a cable modem. It, there's just no, nowhere to install anything. Uh, there's a lot of these IoT devices that are coming out that have the same exact setup. And often they're either working or they're not. And when they're not working, you reset them. Combining managed power with Datto RMM means that Datto RMM can literally now control the power of anything. You don't have to have connectivity at the software layer anymore. You can simply say, this is a simple device. I'm going to use an MP10 or an MP60, whichever power product you'd like. And now the RMM platform has access to the power source of any device. So this is the first step in this integration. So what's coming next? Well, what's interesting about this integration is it's not a first step. We just opened the floodgates on what you can do because Focusing on how MSPs work and now connecting the Datto networking platform into Datto RMM means with all of those devices, you can do anything with them that you can do inside the Datto RMM platform. Yeah, Datto RMM, for example, has very powerful integrations with PSA systems, Autocast, ConnectWise PSA. By building this integration, Datto networking automatically leverages that integration too. So for example, when we add a switch to Datto, Net Datto RMM, automatically, we we automatically sync it as a configuration item to one of those systems, making billing seamlessly. Like that's really important. To your powerful. point all the way through. So like we showed on stage from the data networking mobile app, scanning a QR code, a few seconds later, that device is in network manager, automatically makes its way into data RMM. And from there can go upstream anywhere you'd like it to go. Yeah, and that's from a, an MSP-centric company, which is what Datto focuses on. That is as MSP-centric as we know. Yeah, absolutely. So, John, what does this cost? There's no additional cost at all to use the integration between the two products. So, Matei, John, thank you very much for spending time with me today. Very welcome. And thank you for joining us today with this special edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. If you'd like to learn more, reach out to your account manager or visit us on datto.com. We'll be happy to set up time and follow up with you. Thank you.